Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is very important in perspective that this is a very important BMS for the CCTV industry. So today we are talking about wash cam for PC. So in this video, we are going to describe first that what is wash cam for PC. What is the main use of this CMS? And the third one, its feature and functions. And after that, we go on to our practical parts, means how you download the software, how you install them, and how you configure them. Finally, to make camera live. So keep watching. Please like, share our video, and subscribe to our channel if you are new one. So first thing we would we would like to discuss what is first cam for PC. The company gives you so many software program in order to control the CCTV camera like this, like this CMS and also for Mac. By the way, the usage of the software you are able to observe the CCTV IP camera on your computer, both its mild windows or in Mac. In this software, you are able to observe the previous recording of your CCTV cameras for your laptop. Use of the software associated with the CCTV camera on the PC. However, by making use of first cam for the PC, you are likewise ready to supervise and lay out your CCTV cameras on your PC, like PDZ controlling, attaching the file, return up, playback the video, and so on. And if you're talking about its high, its main feature, then it's give you a live view and control live view, like able to control the live view. For example, if you want to close any camera, you want to show the camera and it's allow you to seek and playback recording and it's give you uh, alarm in, in real time two way audio if your camera is audio enabled human counting is AI feature device management e-map alarm configuration user configuration person management and so and so and many more now we would like to switch to the practical part means how you download so you should first open any browser in my case I use Google Chrome and after that you should, you should search for Foscam for PC when you search for Foscam for PC you find it top of the list a website you should open this website and try to find a download button here you find a download button for Mac and for download and for Windows in my case I use Windows so I will definitely go for this just click on this it will redirect you to download page and here you should wait for 10 seconds and it enable you uh, download button link now the button download button link is available just click on this and it is downloaded my internet is so fast you can download it within a second so I just close this and just click out click on this three dot button and go to my download page here is my download page here is my file just I just click in show in folder and after that I should right click on the downloaded file and try to extract here I click on extract button when I click on extract button a folder with the same file name is available just open this folder here you find your application file installer file or .exe file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and click on yes and after that click on next and again click on next Now it is launched. Just click finish. When you click, it will ask for a username and a password. Here I could enter my password in CMS password. You click on order auto login and click on save. If you tick this, then you won't 
to enter user and password again and again. Just click log. Here you find the software. So uh, there is a little resolution issue. Which I change my resolutions to give it better view. Just click on display setting. way here you find system setting now you should search for a device setting option here you find the add device option just click on this when you click on this it will ask for a something to fill so in my case i just use whether you are adding ip camera or nvr in my case i use my nvr so i select nvr after that it asks for a name so i put any name here in my case i use test device here it asks for ip dns if you connect connect remotely then you should enter your DDNS ID if you want to connect locally then you should enter simply a static IP or a local IP and here it asks for a UID admin and username and password please note this is the username and password of that NVR it means you should enter that username and password of the NVR or, or, or IP camera whatever you are adding okay if you want if you want p2p connection it's me for it is also for a remote adding a remote device adding a remote nvr when you enable this you will click that uid is enabled so here you should enter uid okay uid for finding where you find uid you should go to your network setting option of your nvr so in my case i try to you i want to connect locally so here I enter my local IP here is my port number and here is username and here is my password In this enter 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 you should enter and it will ask for a map so you should here when you search if you if your uh, nvr is connected locally it means mac is already filled okay in my case i use i i want to in p2p so just i just click on p2p and here test device and you ask for uid so i enter my uid click on add when you click on add once you are successfully connected your camera comes online like this thanks for watching please like share subscribe thank you have a nice day